a little bit of a different format today. I videoed me designing it and then I did a voiceover. If you like this, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know uh, in the comments section below because, God, I, I'm just, I'm winging it here. Um, but we're going to be going over how to design these uh, topographic map type uh, patches or this kind of design. You don't need to do hat patches, but these that's what these are on is leatherette. Um, I've seen these around and I think what people are doing is printing on top of leatherette and then cutting out of that printed leatherette, essentially. Um, they're using a UV printer or something like that. Um, but this is actually done on the laser itself, so uh, it doesn't go all over. You can see that there is a uh, a border essentially around the patch where the design does not go so uh, you don't have to do these on hat patches you know this is just a design process this is what I wanted these on so follow along for the design or how to make these and I don't remember if I mentioned it or not but there are affiliate links in the description for all the things mentioned I mentioned uh, creative fabrica a couple of times I think Maybe some other stuff. I don't know. It doesn't cost you anything. It, I get a kickback from it if you click it and you interact and do whatever. So appreciate you guys. We'll catch you later. Topographic map with an outline of steamboat with the outline of a uh, patch here. And here are the components that we're going to be using. The topographic map. Let's get that grouped together. Control G. Then we have our patch. Uh, but this top part is the only part that we actually downloaded. Got that from Creative Fabrica. Um, just type that into the search. There's a link in the description. Um, you know, it's like three bucks a month or something like that and you get commercial licenses for all this stuff uh there's millions of things on here maybe not millions but uh, anyway i know we go through designing and stuff but uh you know if you want the actual elements this is really the place to go and here's where i also got the topographic map um i think it was this one uh that one there you go so downloaded those two things and uh, those are the base pieces for the design that we're going to be doing here also got steamboat he's already uh, got an outline on him but we'll just delete that and We'll do this from the, the very, very beginning here. So I just have that outline piece that was downloaded. <clears throat> and we'll do all the offsets together so that we can make this work and look good. So for starters here, we're going to do the offset on the patch that we like. Um, going to go inwards from that patch size. And uh, I think a 0.8 for the size that we're working with here. Uh, seems to look the best. It gives enough of a border. <clears throat> and then just trying to match the size of the uh, the topographic outlines. So it's like a 0 0.15 or 0 0.015, 0 0.2, somewhere around there. Uh, play around with it and see what works best for you. But that's really the look that I like and the look that I'm, I'm going for here. Hmm. Now when doing this kind of stuff, I, I typically like to work in just line. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to see. Uh, but move the patch around the map to where it looks best to you. And then um, once you get to a point that you like the way that it looks, and you can make the map bigger or smaller or more condensed or whatever. <clears throat> I definitely like the center area more 
that looks like a face. I don't, I don't like that at all. <laughs> but the center area I mean, definitely looks better to me. And then through this process, control D to duplicate. That way, if you make a mistake, you can go back. Uh, control Z also is a uh, undo, but I always like to have multiples just in case. Then I'm going to select the topographic map and the inner of those outlines. And you're going to want a Boolean. Uh, well, it's the Boolean intersection, which is the bottom one. Uh, I always have issues remembering which one to hit, but if you just hit one and it doesn't look the way you like it, Control Z will get you back to where uh, you were initially. So you can see you have that outline there and then the outline intersects with the topographic map. And then changing it to fill, you can see what it really is gonna look like there. We're only halfway done though because we still need to get a steamboat in this picture or in this patch. And then again, we're going to go back to the lines, just so it's uh, easier to see here. Maybe if I could get everything back to a line. There you go. So with Steamboat, we're going to want to, uh, well, try and get him centered there. But what we do want to do is have an outline of him so that we can do the same thing that we did, where we intersect the map portion with the outline. And again, 0 0.02 for this size seems to be the right size. But when you do that, you're gonna have little bits and pieces in there. So Control U is gonna ungroup that outline. And then you can go through and select the little pieces that you don't wanna be uh, a part of it, essentially. Um, I guess I didn't Control U good enough, but it didn't ungroup this, so let's try it again select it there and then you can just delete that little piece it's just little stuff that that sticks out there that maybe doesn't look as good i hear i'm kind of debating on whether i want to delete this piece or not uh, it turns out i don't want to delete it but this was my uh, decision making process right here is stare at it for a second until i uh, either do or don't but again you can control Z to undo if you did end up deleting it, or you can just make a copy or a duplicate of this whole thing right now and then make both so you can see them side by side, if that makes sense. So again, we're going to go through and uh, screw around with our booleans until we get it right. Get it looking the way that we want uh, and then uh, realizing that we didn't size it properly or even get it into the location that we wanted it. And I'm just grabbing each corner and moving it to where it is in between the outer line and the inner line there. Control Z to undo and Screw around with those booleans again. Change it back to fill so we can see what it looks like and hot damn that looks really good. Might actually be a little to the left, not centered, but there you have it, fairly easy to make those. Now control D along the way, like I was talking, would have been a lot easier than doing the control Z's to try and get out of this. But now that we're back to this base, creating a just Wyoming patch out of the base patch that we made, following the same exact process, we're going to get our text, we are going to offset that text, screw around with the sizing, make sure it's centered, make sure it looks good to our eye and within minutes we have created multiple patches utilizing the same components but they are completely different patches so this just shows you how easy this is to uh, design and really bust these out
All right, if you've made it this far, I really appreciate it. Thank you for checking out the video. I hope you learned something from this. Uh, if, if you did, if you wouldn't mind subscribing or giving me a like or a comment that you did learn something, um, shoot, man, comment if you hated it because I watch or I listen to, I listen to. <clears throat> I read all the comments. I try to reply to everything. If I miss you, I'm sorry, but I try to reply to everything. Um, let me know what you want to see. More content like this, let's do it. More content like the non-talking head and just the design process, let's do it. You hate music? I've heard that before. Let me know. Probably not going to stop putting music in there, but it is what it is. We'll catch you on the next one.